To politics now, and the last time George Amador faced Cecilia Kachik in a general election, he lost his state senate seat by an eyelash. But a new Siena poll out today suggests that won't happen this time around. It looks like the Republican Amador has pulled ahead of the incumbent Democrat Kachik in their race for the 46th district state senate seat. The latest Siena Research Institute poll shows Amador holding a 10-point lead over Kachik, despite a Democratic enrollment edge of 10,000. The two were neck and neck in the 2012 election. Kachik won the seat by just 18 votes. Still, Amador held a lead going into the final weeks of their last Senate battle as well and came up short. So here to break down the numbers for us is Steve Greenberg from the Siena Institute Research Poll and uh, Siena Research Institute Poll. I got all the words in there in the wrong order. How are you, Steve? I'm great, Liz. How are you? Good, thanks. This is interesting stuff. I mean, this, this race, uh, it, it was tough the last time around. It's just that way again. What are we seeing here? Why is Cecilia Kaczek with an enrollment edge and, and a much worse favorability numbers? Why is she not doing as well? Well, what we're seeing is that George Amador, uh, even though he's the challenger, he's very well known. He's as well known throughout the district among likely voters as is Kachik. Mm -hmm. He's actually a little bit more well liked. Right now, he's got an almost two to one favorability rating. 53% of likely voters view George Amador favorably, 28% view him unfavorably. For Kachik, it's 44 favorable, 34% unfavorable. And they're both doing a good job with voters in their own party. Kachik is holding the Democrats. Uh, Amador is holding the Republicans. But the key right now is independent voters. Mm. They are giving Amador a 19-point lead at the moment, and that's really the difference here. And what I also thought was interesting in your poll was that we're seeing other one-term Democrats in trouble in the state Senate. Yeah, we actually saw that down in the Hudson Valley in the 41st District where uh, uh, Gibson is trailing 12, by 12 points against his Republican challenger, Sue Serino. And out in Rochester, um, uh, Funky, uh, the Republican challenger, a longtime newscaster out mm -hmm. there, uh, has a huge 25-point lead over Ted O'Brien. I think the other interesting thing about this, Liz, is uh, Siena has now polled in 12 districts, mm -hmm. seven congressional districts, five state Senate districts across the state. This is the first district where we've seen Andrew Cuomo trail. trail um, Rob Astorino. Astorino has an eight-point lead over uh, Cuomo in this state Senate district. And Cuomo's got a two-to-one unfavorable favorability rating. That is twice as many hmm. voters in this Senate district view Andrew Cuomo unfavorably as view him favorably. In that last Siena poll in 2012 yeah. in this district, Andrew Cuomo had a favorability rating of over 70%. Shows you how things change, doesn't it? For sure. No Steve, question. thank you. We'll look forward to more polling by you, and hopefully you can come in and talk to us about them. Thank you. Absolutely.